Now that we've got Unify managing all of the devices that are on the same network that the controller is on, let's take a look at adding in a device that resides on a remote network. So I'm currently logged into the Unify portal, and you can see the list of the controllers that I have that are connected to my Unify account. I'm also on the same network as the device that I would like to adopt. So if we go on over to the devices option here on the left, this is where we can a search for local devices on the network. And this is where you'll need the Ubiquity Device Discovery Tool. It's a Chrome extension. So make sure you're in Chrome and you have that installed. There's a link for it in the prerequisites. We're going to turn on Device Discovery. And this will list out all the unified devices that aren't currently adopted. So we can see that I've got my AP here that does not have a home. So if we select it, we have the option to adopt it under the Adopt tab. And here, if you've got multiple controllers, it'll ask you which one you want and it's, it's already selected the one I want, my Howl controller. And then if you have multiple sites, it'll select you which site you want under the site option. And here I'm gonna select the C, this is my office. We wanna check the advanced options to make sure these all look good. And so by default, the IP address, port, username, and password, those are all the default values, and this is a brand new IP, those are correct. And the inform URL, this is the really important one for managing remote devices. This URL needs to resolve to your controller. And since my controller is across the internet from this location, I need to actually set this to the public address of my controller. And at that address, I do have port 8080 forwarded to my controller. And 8080 is the default port. You, of course, can change it if you'd like. So we're going to go ahead and select the option to adopt. What this does, it'll, it'll send a message to that address. And if it's resolvable, it will give us this notification like it did here that it has been adopted. So let's switch on over to my controller. And then here in my controller, I'm gonna go straight to devices. And here we can see that I've got an AP that's pending adoption. And so we'll select the option to adopt it. And then it will finish the adoption process. And then once it's finished adopting, it'll show the status as connected. It probably go through a provisioning state as well. Uh, and the last thing that I like to do with all my new devices is I like to give them a descriptive name. So I know what that device is when it shows up in the logs. And on this site, you notice that I only have a firewall and a switch and now an AP. And so I'm just gonna call my AP, AP. So welcome to the family AP. So that is how you adopt a Unify device into a remote Unify controller.